I used to get in trouble sometimes talking to Eastern Europeans. They'd say to me, by God, boy, you don't know the first thing about communism. So I'd say to them, the history of all hitherto known civilization is the history of the class struggle. The history of all hitherto known societies is the history of the class struggle? Wow. It really isn't, dude. I mean, uh, you know, uh, let's assume we can call it history, you know, that use the sexist term history, other than her story. Would that be history? Would that be sexist to call it her story? Actually, you look at the etymology, you find the word history ain't based on the word he's tall. <laughs> I mean, really, I, I used to, I had conversations with people who uh, would claim that the word history was based on the word his story. It doesn't sound anything like that. And that it was flawed. And I would say, hang on, just one, let's, let's just look it up. There's a, uh, Oxford etymology, and you could find, discover whether or not the word history had any relationship whatsoever with uh, history, his story. There's no connection. By God, that is dumb. I remember one time I said, that, you know, when I was in high school, I used to be able to run faster than most female Olympians in that in a hundred meters and say what you talking about boy I said well you know uh, sorry but um, like say for example what happened just recently is not that long ago anyway <clears throat> is that um, uh, high school boys high school, high school soccer teams beat the best soccer players in the world. If Serena Williams was a man, she'd be ranked 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 about uh, one thousand five hundred. Serena Williams knows this. As McEnroe said, you know, well, you know, you'd be ranked at fifteen hundred. So she's pretended to be angry, and he talked to her, and it was a joke. She's funny. Serena Williams is. A is a funny human being. She thought it was funny. He thought it was funny. The news anchors thought it was funny. Yeah, that's, if Serena Williams was uh, to play against the men, she'd be about 1,500th in the world. <clears throat> so how did we get on this? Oh yeah, I, I want to go back to this thing about uh, Trudeau saying that Canada needs to expose people who... So what that implies is, this, is an amount of surveillance, doesn't it? We're going to spy on people. They're going to get their kids to rat on us. As they did in um, both Russia and uh, Maoist China, the Bolsheviks, the Maoists. Uh, rat it out on their parents, probably. We need to expose people who won't identify as feminists and deal with them. So, uh, the Bolsheviks had the gulags, and the Chinese had uh, re education camps. It's a bit weird, you know, you, you hear... Um, some Chinese Canadians talking about how, you know, at one time we had the Chinese head tax. So if you wanted to come here from uh, China to the United States, there was a, or to the Canada, you had to have a, you had to pay a tax. That doesn't sound very good, doesn't it? Does it? But if that tax hadn't been there, uh, Canada would be China. Maybe that'd be okay. Um, but. Compare that to the slaughter, the slaughter that the Chinese 
uh, were committing against their own people at that time. The, and just earlier before that, a Japanese complained that their money was stolen. And we apologize for that, as we probably should. Uh, they were slaughtering people all over Southeast Asia and China. In the 40s, right? They were fought al alongside the Nazis. They were ethnocentric, murderous, let's experiment, experiment on living human beings types. And they never admitted it. Not really. They've, they've really reneged on the idea, oh, we're going to uh, apologize to the Taiwanese sex slaves or the Korean sex slaves because we just want to uh, pretend it didn't happen. And this is for real abuse. Uh, the sex slaves, some of them were uh, Dutch people, Dutch women, were sex slaves in the Japanese army during the Second World War. You, you don't hear about that. Um, I think that there really should be uh, some kind of a, a serious... Um, Memorial. Uh, what country do you admire most? China for its basic dictatorship, which allowed them to uh, turn their economy around in a dime in response to climate change. Okay. Uh, his brother um, was a documentarian. He made flattering documentaries about the Chinese Communist Party, China, and Iran. His father used to like to dress up during the Second World War just after in a Nazi uniform. Um, he learned about uh, feminism from his mother, who did a lot for... Um, to gain acceptance, I think, for the mentally ill, but who no doubt uh, traumatized him by publicly cuckolding his father, and she still does it. I think it was a couple of day, years ago she said that the only man who ever, sent, who ever satisfied her was um, Jack Nicholson, who's disappeared amazingly. He's just, he's an old fart in a dirty house. He's you know, he was such a great actor. He's just decided to just, like Charlie Watts did. Um, do I have to refer to my notes? Uh, you know, the more modern things. This is like a eulogy, I think, for Justin. Um... It's interesting that Quebec still has, uh, unique among the provinces, it has control over immigration. Um, honestly, I think that Canada might as well just go ahead and dissolve. We don't have any strength, I don't think, as a military group. What did, what did he buy uh, all those crappy jets from Australia? Just an example. We don't we don't invest anything in the military. We're not a uh, military power. We rely one hundred percent on the United States, who we insult. Really, quite a uh, pathetic country. Um, so yeah, just divide. What really? What difference does it make? Uh, it doesn't make any difference to Trudeau. He would rather be, if he could. Um, maintain control over Ontario, Quebec, and the eastern provinces, he would let it go immediately. He's, he's done so much to alienate um, Alberta that's not funny. Like, Albertans really, under his watch, were thinking, we're just going to leave, okay? The country's going to dissolve. And if they were smart, what they would have done uh, probably is join the United States. If they joined the United States, they would have that market. They could have sold their oil through, uh, through Texas. It's what's happening anyway. We, 
we ship our oil down to the United States, they refine it and send it back. And that's what we use, unless we're buying it from Saudi Arabia. Okay, uh, it's amazing, I can just talk about this stuff and it just one thing reminds me of another. Okay, do you know who the Taliban is? The Taliban is the children of the Afghans who were, uh, the Russians attempted to depopulate Afghanistan. Just, Af Russia decided, to just we want a total genocide. Um, and at that time, it wouldn't have been the Taliban as, as such as an organization, I don't think, but the Afghani men had the respect and concern for women and children. That during the communist occupation of Afghanistan, they used to, the, um, the communists used to have little drones, you know, it was lovely for little kids. You know what they'd do? They'd blow up. The communists thought that if we can uh, demoralize Afghanis enough, then we can conquer them. I think in a similar way to the way like Rotherham rape gangs think if they can totally demoralize the West by raping the women and getting away with it, they can demoralize us, we'll give up. But what the communists did was they said, okay, we're going to give the kids a little drone to play with, and then we're going to blow the thing up in their faces, right? And at that time, the Taliban said, okay, we're going to send those kids out and we're going to stay here and fight the Russians. And they did, and they did it with American support. And at the end of it, they, they gained control of the American military equipment. They went to war with uh, the United States because they were um, under the influence of Saudi Arabia, which is Wahhabi, which is the worst sect of Islam that... Uh, I think it's the worst. So Saudi Arabia financed the Afghanis who were fighting against the Russians. They sent their kids to Pakistan. The Pakistani, in Pakistan, they were taught Wahhabism, uh, the most extremist version of Islam. And when they came back, they were the Taliban. The Taliban is Arabic for student. Um, you uh, now for the second time they've uh, laid uh, they've taken hold of American military equipment apparently 85 billion dollars with night goggles attack helicopters Humvees etc are now in the possession of the Taliban uh Biden wants another war with the Middle East because uh, his backing comes largely from the military industrial complex. It won't take any time at all before the United States is at war with the Taliban. That's the plan. Uh, but of course, how does this relate to Trudeau? Canada, as a result of Trudeau's promise to bring in 20,000 refugees, a promise that he failed to deliver on, is now, according to the Taliban, uh, a good target for a terrorist attack. They think we promised them the world. They flooded the uh, Kabul airport it caused a lot of the problems that you have at the Kabul airport Afghani people are saying you betrayed us now Canada itself is a more legitimate target for a terrorist attack so as as you're flush down the toilet Justin uh, consider that consider that you've made Canada a better target for uh, Taliban uh, 
terror attack. 